with this pretty young girl named Shade, her last name Malade. I wanna take her to the room, I wanna take her down tonight. And by the end of the night, she be missing Shade fashion all day. I want my kidney and I want my wanna take her down tonight. Hey guys, welcome to my channel where we ramp all things beauty. Beauty. Um, my sister is gonna show you guys how to revamp a synthetic unit into this flawless bad boy right here. It's gonna come out of my skull. <laughs> I know. So yeah, stay tuned. Keep watching. See y'all soon. Hello everybody, my name is Tania Bolanle Omoni Oni Wednesday. Wishing you a lovely and productive day. Thank the Lord for waking up this morning. Get that money, get that money, get that cash. Today we're gonna be doing an unboxing um installation tutorial kind of review thing. Here is the hair that I'm gonna be using. It's an outre um the Peruvian quick weave styled hair. Um it's in the color 1B. It looks really saucy on the girl on the packet, so I'm gonna try to uh, make mine look better than that. <clears throat> Let me unbox this for you guys. This is the packaging. Um, it has a little hair care guide at the back. Um, here is the cap construction. Let me take it out of this box so we can get this thing cracking. <laughs> so I have taken the cap off of the hair. And this is how it looks. It's nice and bouncy. The curl is popping. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't look see-through like most synthetic wigs. You can't even tell that this is synthetic hair, honestly. All right, so the first thing is prepping your real hair. I have my hair slicked back because I don't really have much hair. Um, and that goes to show you could do this style with any type of hair. You can have short hair, long hair, as long as you have edges and a bit of hair in the front to help it blend. Um, all my tools are simple. You can get them from the local beauty supply store. I have a, what is this called? Girl, a comb. <laughs> what is this a called again? Rat tail comb, hello. I have a deep toothbrush. You know, every girl needs their edges toothbrush and some handy dandy um, Gorilla Snap. Uh, what I do is section out the front part of my hair. Very simply. And you don't need that much leave out, remember that. Well, my hair is getting longer. You don't need that much. You don't need a giant chunk on either side. Mm -hmm. Make sure that's equal. I don't want that part of the part that I had to cut my hair. Okay, this is all I have left out. Um, you can cut cornrows or you can have it slicked back like mine. It just depends on the length and the thickness of your hair. Um, inside of this wig there um, are combs and that is what's going to help keep it stable and firm on your head. Alright. Okay, so I literally just put the combs in right where my part is. Simple, right? Come on, Rick James. Come on, Rick James. Alright, and then you put the combs in the back of your hair as well. And I'm done, huh? No. Uh, we need the comb now. Where's this comb? You get the comb and you comb up your real hair. It already looks flawless. It already looks like this thing is coming from my scalp without even doing much to it. So, this is how it looks. I'm going to kind of comb it out a bit before I start my edges so that it doesn't look nasty. And then... Of course, you guys already know with units when you unbox them, they look crazy and horrible until you play with it. And honestly, this actually looks so much better after like three days of wearing it. So, okay, that's how that works. So it's kind of blended already because my hair is short. Then I take um, the Gorilla Snot. Literally, I use, ooh. <laughs> I use a tiny bit of Gorilla Snot because you don't need that much. Like this much, literally, is all I need. Um, and I put that on my edges, like this. Then even my all around, the toothbrush is gonna work the magic and make this thing shine, so just bear with me. Um, 
So what I do for my baby hairs is I brush my hair down and then around, kind of as if I'm doing um, finger waves, like you know how you brush it down, hold it, and continue brushing it down. That's how I create my uh, baby hairs. So I'm taking the front section. I'm not even using any of this hair that I have back here. I'm just taking this front section. I'm brushing it out. Taking a little bit more. Okay, and then this section is kind of already pre-laid. Um, and all of this right here is short hair, so if your hair is longer, you're probably going to need to do that process all around your edges on this side. Honestly, this side no one is going to see, but for the wind blowing purposes, you want to have it slicked down. Um, yeah, so that is the baby hair. Everything is blended out. Um, you can play with how you want your part. If you want it a bit deeper, I like my little bit deeper. So I'm gonna get saucy on that ass. Ooh, I'm sorry. I don't know. If totally uses curse words on her channel, but I'm gonna use them on mine. <clears throat> this is the look. Um, this is the Peruvian outre body bundle bundle hair look. And um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Simple. Hell at me. Recording? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna clean this out that I got <laughs> gel on it that I did pre-video. <clears throat> Real quick, what you look like, just so you can see. You know. Oh, I had nasty. My pen. My arms are crossing back. <laughs> okay, never mind. Okay, so I wanna talk about. Okay, I wanna talk about this. Okay, let me talk about the hair itself. Stay tuned for the revamp madness. So yes, you guys, let me introduce my sister, Bola. We're gonna do a video together, so that was not even necessary. We're gonna do an intro together anyway. But you know, so basically, this is just specs of the hair. The hair that, yeah. Check out my previous video on how to make a lace closure wig, and don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. See you guys on my next video.